if you've been watching my channel for a while, you're probably thinking, oh great, here comes that video game bald-headed rah-rah cheerleader guy to tell me how to copy Xbox 360 games to my hard drive. That's exactly what I'm here to do. I'm going to tell you all the steps that you need to take to get your games copied right over to your hard drive on your modded 360, and it all starts right now. You're going to need a modded Xbox 360, either JTAG or RGH, in order to get this done. We're using an Xbox 360 Halo RGH. It was modded by Shaheen at PhenomMod.com. I've met him personally. I've seen the quality of his work is fantastic. He modded this Xbox 360 Halo Edition in less than three hours with a full RGH mod and LED custom lighting. To get a quote to get your 360 modded, visit their website at phenommod.com. Linked in the description below. There are a number of choices for running a custom operating system on a modded Xbox 360. You're going to need Aurora for this tutorial and you'll also need XEX Menu both of which are available from the phenommod.com website that I linked earlier. I'm going to be demonstrating two different ways to copy an Xbox game disc over to the Xbox internal hard drive. I'm doing this because some games seem to work really well with XEX menu and using the copy DVD function, while others work better by just using Aurora and using its file manager to copy the files directly from the source disc over to the hard drive. I'm going to be demoing the first method using Copy DVD in XEX Menu using Tetris Evolution. It's kind of a smaller game and it's a quick copy over and it's a very easy one to demonstrate to you. So I put in the Tetris Evolution disc as you saw earlier. Go over to XEX Menu and launch it with the A button. Once you're inside XEX Menu, you're going to see the Games Discovery tab. Use the right shift button to get over to the next one which is HDD1. That's your internal hard drive on your Xbox 360. If you don't have a folder here called Games, I strongly recommend you make one. It's going to make organizing things much easier moving forward. But if you haven't, let me demonstrate to you how to make a folder in XEX Menu. Press the Y button and it pulls up these menu choices. Scroll down until you get to Create and press the A button. When the virtual keyboard comes up, press and hold X and it will backspace over that new folder default description and then you can use the virtual keyboard to type in the name of the folder as you want it to appear. Now you'll see your newly created folder. Scroll down and go into the folder. Press A. Inside the folder, press the Y button. Underneath where you originally went to create, go down one more. You're going to see Copy DVD. Select that with the A button. The disc tray on your Xbox is going to pop out for you to put the disc in. So if you haven't already, put your disc into your Xbox 360 and select Confirm with the A button. After a little bit of thinking, the Xbox 360 will get busy copying your game disc. Depending on the complexity of the game's file structure and the size of the game, it can take anywhere from a couple of minutes like Tetris Evolution does up to an hour or a little longer in some cases. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was a particular offender to this. It took a little bit over an hour during some of my testing to copy it over. But generally speaking, most of the games copied over in around 10 minutes or so. It's a very reasonable amount of time considering the value that you get. Once it's done copying the disc, you'll be taken back to the XEX menu main menu. Press the Xbox button on your controller. Then select Aurora Home from the menu options. From the Aurora main menu, you should see two copies of the same cover art for the game you put in. One represents the copy you have on the hard drive now, and the other represents the disc in the optical drive. So go ahead and eject the disc in the optical drive and store it safely away. To make sure everything copied correctly, go ahead and launch the game from the Aurora menu. And as you can see, it launched lightning fast. It's not a particularly large game, but loading it from the hard drive dramatically increases both the reliability and the speed of loading the games. If you've never seen Tetris Evolution before, not only is it a fun Tetris game, it has a very Tron-esque kind of look to it. 
and I like Tron. To exit the game and go back to the Aurora main menu, press the Xbox button on your Xbox controller. It'll close out the game and take you back to Aurora. The reason I said there's two different methods I want to demonstrate here is not every game that I tested worked through XEX menu and doing the copy DVD. There were some cases in which I just had to natively copy over the contents of the DVD disc right over to the Xbox hard drive. To demonstrate it, I'm going to use a game based on everyone's favorite potty mouth anti-hero, Deadpool. To get started, press the select button on the Xbox controller. Then press A to select file manager. Scroll down until you get to DVD. Then press the A button to go in and see the contents of the DVD. From here, you need to select everything that you see, every folder and every file. So scroll to them using the D-pad and press the X button to select them. Then scroll over to the left. You see these icons in gray and light gray on the left side? This one is the copy. And what it'll do is it'll say it's enqueued or queued them, so they're ready to be copied over. Then press the B button to go back until you can get to HDD1, which is your internal drive, and press the A button. From here, go into that games folder that you created, and you'll need to create a new folder in order to store the contents of the Deadpool disk there. So come over and go all the way up to the top, and you'll see a folder with a plus on it. That's the create a new folder. So press A on that. And you'll get the virtual keyboard. So press X to backspace over everything for the new directory and type in the name of the directory you want. If you're installing a game called Deadpool, might I recommend calling it Deadpool. Now scroll to the Deadpool folder you just created and press the A button to go in. It's empty for now, but not for very long. Scroll all the way back to the left with the D-pad and then all the way down. That's the paste button. So just select that icon and press A and it'll ask you, are you sure you want to copy all this stuff over? Well, yeah, press the A button. This can take a while based on how big the game is and of course how many files are on there. Speed up time's awesome. Exactly how much speeding up of time is going on here? Yeah, 5,000% is a lot. Right, back at the file manager menu, press the Xbox button on the controller to go back to the Aurora main menu. Back at the Aurora main menu, same thing applies. You're going to see two cover images eject the disk. That'll get rid of the one cover image and leave the one only applying to the hard drive copy of your game. You want to make sure that your game copied successfully, so go ahead and scroll over to it and launch it. And after a couple of loading screens, you should get this. And your game's loaded up and running. The reason that I've documented two different ways to load games is some seem to work really well doing XEX menu and others work better using File Manager. So if you have trouble loading games with one, try it with the other and I think you'll have pretty good results. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on great original new content as it's released, and check out these videos here to get the most out of your video game experiences. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.